Good morning, everyone. It's Friday, and so the last day of the week, and the last in our faith lift messages. Uh, We've been looking at Jesus' story where he tells a parable of a feast where somebody, a uh, host, puts out this big spread and sends out invites and calls everybody to come to the feast. But when it's time for the feast, uh, as we discussed yesterday on Thursday, there's a number of people that make excuses for different reasons. And so he then says to his messenger, uh, go out into the valleys and the alleys and go all over and invite as many people as you can. Uh, I don't want there to be any empty seats. And then Luke 14 verse 24 I just want to read this one line. I tell you, not one of those who were invited will get a taste of my banquet. And here Jesus is telling this parable and, he, and he's talking about how the owner, the, 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 person who, the, the host of this feast, he says, you know, those who are originally invited will not get a taste of my banquet. You see, religion can be a dangerous thing. Religiosity can be a dangerous thing. You know, religion sometimes sounds like this. If I do this, then God will do that. If I know this or study that, then I will know God more. If I act like this, then God will show me his favor. Then I'll be okay for heaven. Sometimes we think that that is what Christianity is all about, or a churchianity. If I just have all the pretenses, all the outward signs, all the things, and I, and I, and I control, then, then God will look with favor on me and allow me into heaven. I'm just aware that in this parable, many are invited, but only few respond. We act, we learn, and we do as a response to God and His great love. And that's why I love Paul, where he often says, in view of God's mercy, offer your body as a living sacrifice. You know, this is not a way to God, to act, to learn, or to, um, to do. It's not a way to God. It doesn't guarantee that we will get to God. Those things are a response of knowing God. And so there's a big difference. We know God because of His grace, given freely to us, His invite which is given. And He says, respond. And those who do not respond, um, because remember this is set in the context of those living according to the law. What the, when Jesus says, I tell you not one of those who invites will get a taste of a banquet, what they're really saying is, they will never experience anything in this life as the table that God sets and calls us to, the experience God calls us to. They will try to find it through so many different ways, religious ways, but never be satisfied. See, religion or churchianity will never satisfy. And we're called to surrender ourselves to God and His invite to come to Him, to sit at His table, to come under His household. And so how religious are you today? What are the religious things that you think guarantee you heaven or favor from God? God says, bring those things to him, find him, and you will see that you're blessed beyond measure by knowing him. Let's pray. Lord, just thank you that, that we, are, we are saved by your grace and by grace alone because of what you've done for us. And you invite us into a relationship. You're, you're worried about our thoughts and our hearts and our emotions. You're concerned about those being surrendered to you. And that the acts of work and study and doing the things of, of your kingdom will come as a result, as a fruit of us knowing you more. So Lord, convict us. Convict us of areas where we're religious and help us to follow you in true faith. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great weekend, and don't forget, in-house, 8.30, or online, it'll be great to have you. Be blessed.